All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, which is rightful name in the pure and rightful tongue is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Yahweh means He is or He exists. Bahasham means in the name or the name. Yahweh Shai means He is a deliverer or He delivers. Raka Kodash means the Holy Spirit. <coughs> I like to give double honors to our teachers, the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, men who truly worthy of it. You know, for who understand, who understand why is important and how unique such individual is walking the face of the earth. Um, the salutation to the brethren also who push in <coughs> this good gospel all across the four corners of the earth. This is the brother Tazova from the Trinidad at GMS camp coming back to do a hopeful edification. You know, I need my lesson going and be long suffering because of the elect. You know, and I run around a while trying to fit that name properly because you see, the Lord is long suffering, you know. But I have a reason why it is be long suffering because it didn't really have nothing to prolong on the face of this earth here, you know. All it have is sickness unrighteousness and everything that comes along with it filthiness and clean and cleanliness lasciviousness you know rioting drunkards disrespectful children to parents you know? um it's just a range of things so why the lord pro prolonging such a, a a place like this you know, this is the big question. Why the Lord prolong in a place like this? So without further ado, we're going into the Holy Scriptures. This is the book of Second Peter chapter 3. I'll start from verse 8. Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day with the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. Right? And this could be, this could be, flipped anyhow because time do exist for the Mosai. The Mosai himself, just because the elect in this flesh, right now on this earth, the, long, the Lord just basically bearing along with us until we get correct. Until we, 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 we understand what we have to understand in this incarnation and then the destruction come in. You know, swiftly. Verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. What is he promise? He promised. The Lord promised that unto his seed Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give the kingdom to. An inheritance. And what is the inheritance? The utmost part of the earth. And the heathens for inheritance. You know? John chapter 14 says, I go to prepare a place for you. You know? So we have... A lot of things in store, great things. So why the Father would prolong it? And the, pro the whole prolonging is just because of his precious elect. See these divine men, whoever they may be. <laughs> Boy, I read it on. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, what? not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You see, where is the will of the Heavenly Father? That the elect understand the things that he, he want them to understand. And the sooner that happens, is the sooner the Lord going and shorten the times. <clears throat> because the Lord will prolong or shorten certain circumstances so that you could get the understanding. Because it's all about understanding. The Lord is a man of understanding. Wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Right? As a matter of fact, I read down to 10 and 11. Um, to 12. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Who is going to come as a thief in the night for, to them that are asleep? The Lord elect wouldn't go be asleep. Because they will hear the voice of the shepherd calling and they will answer the call. You see? Marvelous is he who, who hears the voice of the shepherd calling. 
right? In which the heavens shall pass with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Now, how them elements going and melt? We want to go back to the book of Isaiah chapter 54, I believe. And you'll see talk about the smith that bring it forth, that blow the coal, that bring it forth an instrument of his work, of the Lord's work. You know? Malachi chapter 4 verse 1, the earth shall um, burn like an oven. Right? Zephaniah chapter 14, or Zechariah. The this, this, this flesh shall consume away on the skin. So this is what the, the scripture I'm talking about. It have a day that the Lord going and come. That he, he long suffering going and end. He not going and be long suffering anymore. But why he doing it? All this time with the Lord putting up with all this different kind of unrighteousness. Acts of, of profane filthiness on the, on the face of the earth. Why he putting up with it? It's because he have his sheep to get understanding and to get sealed. Reading on, that the earth also and the work that are therein shall be burnt up. Verse 12, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And I the main idea, to establish a godly stature as a, as a man. The elect must reach that standard. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of, of the of of the day of God, Yahweh Basham Yoshai, wherein the heavens being on fire, and I must say something. Looking for and hastening the coming of the day. But before this, if you put everything in context, it go on to tell you that the Lord is long suffering. Because the long suffering is for when the elect get the understanding. Then when they get the understanding, they would the day would come quicker. You see? It's only until these men get to see the Lord going and come and um, bring in that, that judgment. Till these men understand and get sealed. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right? Um... Verse 13. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein there let righteousness. And just here in that word righteousness, supposed to be like a fresh breath of air when it come out from in a smoky room or you're walking through the desert, you now do some type of um, intense labor, labor some job, and you get a glass of cold water to drink. That way here in that word righteousness, supposed to mean to a man. Who say they love the Lord? Because it has some people when they hear these words are just like normal words. But if people understand all the things that comes along with righteousness, just hearing that word righteousness means no more pain. It means no more death, no more sorrow. You know? No more spirits plague in your day and night. This is what righteousness is going on take away from the children of Israel. So why they hate righteousness so much? You know, I don't want to share too much from the topic, but I had to bring out this precept. Isaiah chapter 30. You see, why does they hate righteousness so much? Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Woe, which is destruction to the rebellious children that saith, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And this is exactly what the children of Israel are doing. They have all kind of profane philosophies in the head, and they went to and back to what the Mosai have in his scriptures. So when the Mosai see the children of Israel functioning like this, he prepares slaughter. And that as soon as the last elect gets sealed, that is it, then. The rest of them going and perish alongside with the world. Because time and time in history, the most I prove what he does do when he fed up. Sodom and Gomorrah destroy um, thousands of people. Noah and the ark is millions, probably billions of people. You see? 
World War One and Two is hundreds of thousands of people back in the Assyrian Empire, the Greco Roman Empire. You know the Medo Persian, even every when 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 these great wars that the most high stirring up, it's real people that die. So it's not like if the most high don't want to bring the judgment, when he bring it, it have no turning back. And it does have people, his elect, that he does be working on. And as soon as they get that understanding, that does be it. You see? Because you, you will understand that it have no other way but for people to die, for the righteousness to be established. This is Isaiah chapter 22 verse 14. And it was revealed in my ears by the Lord of hosts. Surely this iniquity shall not be purged from you till you die, said the Lord Yahweh Basham So you see all them people and them who want praying for things to go back to normal. To do what? For the kingdom of heaven to take longer to come in again? The Lord said these people have to die. Because... They not they not they not welcoming the will of the heavenly father. They actually have spirits in their head encouraging them to deny what the will of the heavenly father. And the heavenly father not done with them kind of thing. The heavenly father looking for people, which is his luck, to welcome his will, whether it be to their detriment or whether it be to their prosperity. Let the heavenly father will be done regardless. You know, I'm going to jump back to the precepts on them. Alright. This is um John chapter 5 verse 24. Alright. Here what it says. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, had everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. You hear me? How is I saying here? How are you going and have ever inherit everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation? Because the majority of people going and fall into condemnation, you know. Who dwelling upon the face of this earth, who walking around, feel like they know something. But really and truly, they just under a strong delusion. As a matter of fact, um, let, me, let, me, um, let the scriptures talk because... <coughs> so like... <coughs> Second Thessalonians chapter two. Right? I read from verse ten to twelve. Yeah, what it says here. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish is that condemnation that you're going and fall into pursuing to the book of John. Going and make you fall into this category. You're going and perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie. Right? That they should believe a lie. So the Most High, the Heavenly Father, doing actually doing people that. Turn he making them believe lies in them. You see, you see how displeasing it have people is in the eyesight of the Heavenly Father? The Heavenly Father, he self sends spirits to guide them as trainer. He don't want them to hear the word of God in them. He don't want them to hear the truth in them. What happened for these people? What, what, what type of spirit are to be in such people for the Lord, for the Lord to deliberately lead them down the path of destruction? that the Holy Spirit with me and encamping around my household, the brothers and everybody 
who the Lord choose. Because the Lord could lead you down the path of destruction. Verse 12. That they all might be damned. Who believe not the truth. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. And that is what going on with these people. The whole pleasure of their life. Is unrighteousness. When they hear the word righteousness. That does get vexed. The spirit in them does get upset. The cast it on and listen to nothing. For less than two minutes. Concerning righteousness. Because you know why? The most high. There are so much negative spirits on them. That them negative spirits on them. For me time righteousness start to talk. It is make them get agitated. And irritated. But blessed is he. Who the Lord revealed himself unto. Next precept. First Peter 2, 1 to 8. Alright, and I'll close off with this one. First Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisy and envies and all evil speaking. This scripture does see a lot. If a brother going off, he in a fault. Here with the most I say, lay aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisy and envy and evil speaking. As newborn babes design the sincere milk of the word that they may grow thereby. Because if you get distracted by all the other spirits, the spirit of lying, the spirit of malice, the spirit of guile, the spirit of hypocrisy, envy, and evil speaking. Them spirits and them is strong spirits. And if you do shun these spirits and them and be as a baby who don't know nothing, you will never grow. You will never grow. The milk will not be sufficient for you. Verse 3. If so be it, if, if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, you know what the Lord do for you. So no matter what a brother do, you have to forgive him 70 times 7. Right? This isn't talking about Esau. Because the Lord said Esau. Esau. He sought out repentance and he found it not. And the Mosai say he sought it out with tears too. Esau come to the throne and the Mosai begging and the Mosai run him. This is talking about the Israelite brother. Verse 4. To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh power and precious. And that Yahweh Shai, understanding what Yahweh Shai do to bring you back unto your power. Because we really ain't worthy. These, these, these chains of darkness that we live in, which is this mortal body, not worthy. But the Lord say he casts us down into chains of darkness to be reserved unto the day. Verse 5, he also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood. All the men that the Holy Spirit supped with is a priest unto the Most High. Because it had priests of different calabars and different offices. But you're all his priests unto the Most High. To offer up spiritual sacrifice acceptable to Yahweh power by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Wherefore also, it is, con it is contained in the scriptures. Behold, I lay inside on a chief cornerstone, elect. You see the word elect come back up. Precious. You see the word come up. Precious. And he that believe on him shall not be confounded. So that is not, that is your confound. That is a key. That is a key. To, to be, to pass from. Destruction unto salvation. Believing in your house shy. Because no matter what you do, if you don't truly believe in him, you could do how much work it's going and be none and void. Verse 8. And a stone of stumbling block and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. You see, they are going back to what I was saying earlier on. The Lord sent them spirits on them. Because they were just disobedient children. They just disobedient children. 
and so the Yahweh Shai when 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 we see when they hear things like Yahweh Shai was no virgin but Joseph and Mary had sex to bring forth Yahweh Shai that would be a stumbling block unto them. John three sixteen for God so loved the world. When they hear that that world talking about the cosmos and not the not the oikomendi, that would be a stumbling block because they feel that like talking about everybody on the face of the earth. Which is only talking about Israelite cosmos is the stars as as a arrangement. Who who is the who the most high arrange unto himself? Who is the stars of heaven? Who is the particular group? <laughs> you see? So now that stumbling block Yahweh Shai, he gonna become a stumbling block unto them. They can understand. You know? Because he saw which is the physical counterpart of Satan, the one from in Job chapter 2, who was walking to and fro on earth, and not no Lucifer from in um, Isaiah chapter 14, because that was talking about the king of Babylon at the point in time. Because the name Lucifer just means a light bearer. You see, people don't know the meaning of words, so that why they doesn't understand nothing. When the white man making movies, they just sit down and watch like some clowns for entertainment. But the, the white man put words and he know the proper meaning of words. So when he making movies and he put it out for people to watch, he put spirits on them. You see? He enchant them. Because when what, what is Esau going to do? Words... And people don't know the meaning, so they're going with what they believe in. You see? But I hope this was educational. Until next time, hey, call me a Sharala. Mawat la babal. This place had to go. You know? I hope the Lord bring the elect into that perfection. You know, that fine, that fine tuning. You know? Because we're ready to go home. Shalom.